I'm gonna make a charcuterie. Charcuterie? A cutting board, a serving tray, that's what it is. I have this piece of Bradford pear. Has these nice honeys and yellows and rose and browns in it. We put a little handle right here. Cut out this little checking in here. So let's take it to the bandsaw and get started. So first I did a little shaping and cut out the checking, the part of the board that was cracked, and then had to cut a little curve area in there where the handle and the arm was going to be. So you just kind of work around with the table saw to cut the series of cuts to make that. Rounded off the other end, and we got our general shape of where we wanted to go. So now I'm adding a round over with my router on both sides of the board. So I've taken my board and run through the planer a bazillion times, maybe a bazillion and two. So I had just a rough cut with my cove rider bit. I have a little bit of a groove in here and I'll just sand that off because my board's a little bit wider than I wanted. So now I'm gonna cut a hole in here. I kind of shape this handle where you can kind of grab that. Uh, I may reshape that a little bit more. But anyways, it's looking good. So I got my inch and three eighths inch Forstner bit. We're just gonna drill a hole in here. And drill the other side. That way we don't have to blow out this side. There we go. Now I'm just adding the round over to the hole and the handle that I made. And I take the whole board on both sides and I just add a round over to all the edges to get it nice and smooth. After the round over, we move on to sanding. Now I'm just sanding off the little ridge that's left by the router after you route both edges. If you want to see something pop when you add finish, this is it. The Bradford pear just jumps out at you with this wonderful oranges and red in it. Just a little bit of uh, mineral oil with beeswax in it makes a good cutting board. It's gorgeous. Here's one with a maple cutting board next to it. And another closer shot of the maple board. As many of you may know, I did a box build on the Beads of Courage program a couple of videos back. And I asked viewers to make a box for the Beads of Courage program and send it to me so we can contribute to those boxes for those children who are receiving these beads. Tamar from 3x3 Customs sent in this lovely box. Wonderful job. Tamar, thank you for your contribution. Then we have a box sent in by Drew Fisher from Fisher Shop. This is a chocolate cake box. Everybody loves chocolate cake. So I'll leave a link to both these videos from both these folks who have sent in their boxes. You'll enjoy those as well. Then we had a viewer send in a box from John Cole. John, thanks for your contribution. I'm sure all of the children will appreciate all the boxes. So if you'd like to make a box and send it in for the Beads of Courage program, I'll give you a shout out on one of my videos. We'll get to work. Now back to our project. Hope you enjoyed making of a charcuterie board. So while I was at it, I didn't just make one, I made several of them. Here's another one in a little different shape. So we had a cell for our Sawdust Brothers, our woodworking group at our church. I made some of these. These are all Bradford pear. Be sure to make different sizes, make nice gifts, and people like different shapes. Had some out of spalted curly maple. Here's one's got lots of curl in it. Lovely piece. People always like these. So if you like these and found this special, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see one, I think this is Coupe de Gras. Look at the coloring on this board. As usual, come back and see me real soon. That's a special board right there.